Fair enough. All righty. How about, oh, everything's bigger in this state. <laughs> Is it Houston? <laughs> it's Austin. <laughs> Oh, come on. The one time I don't guess Austin. I, I, I was like, I can't guess Austin again. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Um, lots of players in for Austin this this uh, window. Um, Sofane Jafal from uh, DC United. Uh, Ocampo Chavez from Seattle on waivers. Hector Jimenez was re-signed. Giassi Zardis at, uh, out of free agency, excuse me. Backup goalkeeper Matt Bersano, um, Leo Vaisanen, uh, a center back that was a $1.95 million transfer fee. Adam Lundquist at $500,000 GAM, uh, a generation Adidas CJ Fordry, and Captain Amro Tarek back in MLS with the boys. Uh, didn't come back to Red Bull, unfortunately, but uh, in the league. On his way out, Jared Stroud traded to St. Louis, Danny Hosen. Uh, Felipe Martins, Andrew Tarbell, uh, all had their options declined. Washington Corroso had his loan expired and not renewed. Ruben Gabrielson was transferred out, and Thomas Pochettino was transferred out as well. So, um, to me, this team looks like it is one of the most complete rosters in the league. They maybe need a little bit more right back, uh, but if they need to, they can flex one of their left backs over there. But other than that, I, I don't see a hole in this team at all. I was going to probably say the same thing. I think this team, this is a super well-rounded team, honestly. Uh, I think one of the areas of concern was center back, you know, how they're going to replace Gabrielson. And I think they did a great job with a uh, sign-in. I think that, that that was a great replacement, like like for like, slide right in there at center back with Cascante. Um, yeah, I would say right somebody to back up Nick Lima at right back is probably the only thing I can think of just looking at this roster. But like you said, maybe they can flex one of their left backs out there as a backup. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just kind of crazy that they're they're they they went from expansion two years ago to one of the one of the deepest and, and well rounded teams in the league. Um Yeah, and not to mention that they were not good in their first year. No, they were not. But you could tell there was an idea there. Like Josh Wolf had an idea. So Yeah, they they built this team so well. Yeah. So this team is gonna be dirty. Um I give it an A minus. Like I think this is one of the best transfer windows anybody's had. I mean, bringing in Zardes and free agency is great. Um I don't like Adam Lundquist, but his numbers say that he is going to do well. Vice Vicen in uh to replace Gabriel Sin. Again, they they had success with the um, Scandinavian center back income. So um, hopefully he can replicate that. But if not, you've got Amar Tarek to slide in there. Uh, Romagna is still there. Kip Keller is still there. Uh, and Cascante as well. So you're looking at a team that is now super deep and really lost. Jared Stroud, who was depth player. Danny Hosen, hurt. Felipe Martins, depth. Andrew Tarbell, backup. Caroso was on a loan. Gabriel Sim is the only real big loss. Pochettino never panned out. I mean, this team just got stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, I'm not spoiling anything, but get ready for 2023. I've got big predictions for them. Ooh, okay. Bottom of the West. <laughs> Yikes. Get him, Austin fans. Come on. I he, need more he's, saying, he's only saying that because they signed Adam Lundqvist, and he's got an agenda <laughs> yes. against him. <laughs> I will put them at a B plus. I Boom. agree. Very strong window. Very strong. I think the like for like replacement for Gabrielson it was fantastic. Bringing in an absolutely proven striker in Jossie's artist in another position where they could have improved it was also fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even know what's stopping me from giving them an A. To be honest with you, they did really nothing wrong. I'll change it. I'll go A minus. A minus. Good. Um, 